What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Edwina and this is Versi Color Closet where we love all things colorful. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys some outfit ideas for either a date night or Valentine's Day since it is just around the corner. I put together five different looks that I hope that you guys will love. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. The first look features this dress that I'm currently wearing and I recently picked it up from ASOS and I really like it. So there are some pros and cons so I'll go over everything and you guys can decide if you would like to pick up something like this or if it's not for you. So let's start with the pros. First for me it was the color. I absolutely love this champagne type goldish color on my skin tone. It's almost like a neutral for me so you really can't go wrong with that especially if you have a similar skin tone to me or if your skin just has yellow undertone. The second thing that I fell in love with was definitely the shoulder area. That's the part that made like a big statement and that had me save this dress as soon as I saw it. I really like the deep cut and the fact that you can also wear it without a bra because even if you do, this part covers your chest area. So it's really flattering in that sense. I also love the fact that it's a midi length. I prefer midi length dresses over shorter dresses because I feel like you get more flexibility and you can wear them for multiple types of occasions. Like this would be something that you could wear for a date night that's mostly formal because I mean the top part is really formal although the bottom part is a little more casual. You could wear this for on your birthday. You could wear it as a wedding guest, you know, outfit. There are definitely a variety of occasions that would be appropriate for a dress like this. But when it comes to the con, what I was thinking is the fact that the bottom half, the way that the slit is, if you're walking or if you're sitting, you risk your entire hoo-ha just being out here, okay? And we don't want that. I'm currently sitting down right now and my entire thigh is exposed. So that's one of the reasons why I'm a little iffy about keeping this dress. And I also don't love the fact that in the chest area right here, this part is flipping over. This is something that could easily be fixed with some double-sided tape, but I mean, who wants to do that, <laughs> right? But if you do love the dress, I guess this may not be a deal breaker for you. So you can consider, you know, getting some double-sided tape to make sure that this part stays down. I also feel like it would have been better if there was some structure to hold this piece up. You see how it looks when it's up and I'm like, it's giving, you know, it's giving structure. Like I love a structured look, but it doesn't stay up like this. It ends up falling, but I think it looks so much better when it's staying up. I don't know if there's a way like they could have fixed it with like shoulder pads or something, but whatever, it is what it is. But overall, I really do like this dress. I would give it maybe a seven out of 10. If you are curvier, maybe this would work for you. You can either use a pen to, you know, keep the slit at the bottom more, you know, covered, or you can make sure that you wear shapewear underneath. But given the fact that the split opens so wide, it may even show that under. So I don't, I don't really know. So for me, it's like iffy, but I think I'm leaning more towards returning it because I don't want to keep anything in my closet that I'm not 100% in love with. It is a beautiful dress, but at the same time, I want to ensure that I'm excited to wear it and not thinking about the fact that this part is going to show and then my entire situation here would also be exposed in this dress. So that's the full review on the dress. I do think that it's a great look, but you get to decide if given your body type, if it would work for you. I think if you're more like well endowed, it might look, you know, better in the chest area and perhaps you may not have this issue here that I have. The sleeves are not uncomfortable. You can actually move your arms. So that part is a plus. If you're able to pin the bottom, I think that you'll end up loving this dress. So I'll be sure to link it below, so check the description box. But this is a great idea for something to wear on a date that's gonna be formal. If you're trying to impress your date, this is definitely the type of dress that you want to wear because it's the perfect mix of sexy and casual. So you will definitely stand out at dinner looking like this. 
Look number two features a pair of trousers that I recently picked up from Zara. If you missed my last Zara haul, I'll be sure to link it up here in the cards. But these trousers, they come as a matching set, but I wanted to give it more of a sexy vibe given the fact that it would be for Valentine's Day. So I used a sheer top. This is also an old one from Zara. It's sheer, but it has like all these gold studs all over it. And to finish the look, I went with a first stole and my new favorite coat from Zara. Although it's a neutral coat, but it has some sequins accents to it. So I think that makes it a little more dressy. And I finished the look with a pair of black pumps and a green clutch bag. Whenever I'm wearing an all black look like this, I always like to accessorize with some colorful pieces. So the green clutch was a nice pop of color and the thing is you could literally swap that for whatever color you want i love these type of sheer tops that you can wear with like a bralette or your regular bra because i feel like it's showing skin but it's still tasteful you're like still covered up so if you have any sheer tops or sheer bodysuits, styling them with trousers for valentine's day or for a date night is definitely a simple way to still be fully covered but still feel a little sexy this look will definitely be perfect for the girl who lives somewhere that's really cold the full first stole just adds you know that level of glamour if you want you could even attach a brooch to it to elevate it some more if you wanted another layer you could also add a blazer over the top before you throw on your coat so i love how this look turned out you don't have to compromise warmth for being sexy so you can definitely rock pants on a date and still look feminine and sexy so i hope that you guys like this look the entire thing is from zara the trousers the top and the coat i don't believe any of them are still available but i'll be sure to look for some options and i will link them for you guys below look number three features this bandage dress that I've had for quite a while and I haven't had an occasion to wear it yet but I really do like it back in the day I remember with Hervé Léger these type of dresses were super popular but they're still out there and I think they're still cute they were really trendy at some point in time but I think the concept of a bandage dress generally speaking is very sexy because it's going to hug your curves in all the right places and even helps to create the illusion of curves for those of us who don't really have them okay i like the fact that it has all of the gold stripes that you know is adding extra detail to an otherwise like plain dress the color is really vibrant it's this really pretty shade of orange so which is one of my favorite colors right now i'm literally obsessed with everything orange you can style a bandage dress as is if you're in a warm area but if you're somewhere cold you can throw a blazer over it or if you're trying to make it a little less formal you can throw on like a floor length cardigan i'm really loving those there's one that i've been seeing a lot that's by this black brand called hanifa i'll be sure to put it on the screen so you guys can see what i'm referring to but that style of cardigan that's like floor length gives a really like a regal vibe to a look so. if you have a floor length or knee length cardigan you could totally pair it with a bandage dress I noticed that ASOS has a few bandage dresses available, so I'll be sure to link some options for you guys if you have upcoming dates. I think this style of dresses in general is totally the way to go if you're looking for something that you're gonna be comfortable in, but that's also gonna have you snatched, okay? It really does exactly what a bandage does, okay? The, the stretch in these type of materials is absolutely insane, so, if you are trying to show off your curve and still be fully covered i think this style of dresses will definitely work for you so don't forget to check the description box for some options look number four might just be my absolute favorite in this video i also ordered this dress recently from asos it should still be available again i'll be sure to link it down below but it has like this bobble collar detail that goes from the front all the way to the back and the back is open it also has like this band that goes across the top of the back it's a stunning dress that neoprene material that asos design like there's different collections at asos and asos design just gets it right every time i have so many of these dresses 
and I am absolutely obsessed with them. The fabric hugs you so nicely and it's super comfortable. You simply have to make sure that you're wearing like seamless undergarments to make sure nothing is showing underneath but it's super comfortable you don't have anything poking you you know you the fabric is not sheer it's it's perfect like i can't find anything wrong with this dress i ordered mine in a u.s size 4 which is a uk size 8 that's one thing that i want you guys to be mindful of when you're ordering from asos they are a uk based brand so sometimes the, the sizes are listed in UK versus US. So be sure that you're checking the size guide and ensuring that you are ordering the right size. Because if you are a US 8 and you order a UK 8, you are going to get a size that is way too small for you. So definitely be mindful of that. You can also sort by different brands and you can also filter by style of dresses. I usually sort by midi dresses and then I sort also by the ASOS edition or ASOS design. These two lines just, they have the best dresses and so many of my special occasion dresses are from there. And another thing that I love about ASOS is the fact that you have the option of signing up for a two day free shipping by paying $19.99 for the year. I signed up for that last year and it has paid for itself from the very first order. They ship your stuff to you so quickly with that two day service, it's everything. The $19.99 is absolutely worth it. So if you're someone who loves ASOS and you know you're gonna be using it, $19.99 for an entire year is definitely worth it. Overall, this dress is a 10 out of 10 for me. I highly recommend it. I do feel like it might be a little much to wear on a regular dinner date but if you know that you're doing something special perhaps it's your birthday or maybe you guys have an anniversary around Valentine's Day this dress is definitely perfect I could see it being worn as a wedding guest dress anything formal that you're trying to make a statement while st still being comfortable this dress is definitely a great look I do wish that they came with it in different colors but this was the only color that I saw I want to say it's like a teal color it's really beautiful on the skin the fabric is everything and i can't say enough good things about it so if you're looking for a valentine's day dress or any special occasion dress i definitely recommend this one Look number five features this gorgeous floral trousers that i picked up from zara recently you guys would have seen them in a recent reel if you are not following me on Instagram, be sure to follow me at Versi Closet. I do share daily reels that you can find outfit inspiration from. I share details on my nails. I don't know if you guys have noticed these, but they are press-ons and I absolutely love them. If you need a press-on tutorial, I did a recent video on that. I'll be sure to link it here for you guys. And yeah, we have some fun on Instagram. We kiki in my stories. So definitely follow me on there so we can keep the party going throughout the week. But yeah, I ended up styling these trousers with this blush colored top that I got from Pretty Little Thing a few years ago. I do remember seeing it in so many different colors and to style it actually folded the collar inward and created a less, you know, work type vibe with the look i feel like a button up might give off like office vibes and that's not what we're going for for valentine's day so i unbuttoned the first few buttons and then tucked in the collar so it kind of gives off this more like seamless vibe and i finished the look also with a matching pair of pumps these are also old from zara i also accessorize with a green clutch because the trousers have a little bit of olive green on there so this is again another look where you can use your basic everyday like work attire but in a material that's more luxurious like a satin or a silk i feel like it just automatically gives off a more elevated vibe you could finish up a look like this with a floor length coat and i think that it's super girly you have feminine colors and you have you know soft fabrics that give feminine vibes so you definitely don't have to wear a dress you know to dinner to feel sexy on valentine's day especially if it's really cold where you are you may want to have a couple layers so definitely consider wearing some of your like more formal type of pants 
that is all for today's video we still have a few more weeks before valentine's day gets here so don't forget to check the description box if you'd like to shop any of these looks thank you again for watching and i'll see you guys next time on another one bye guys